hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel i know y'all are like girl where you been where you been where you been so i missed last weekend and i promise y'all i really 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 meant to record last weekend last saturday i had an event my mom's event that i hosted and um i went to that and i told myself like i was gonna record but that was the first time i was ever the host of anything so i'm not even gonna lie i was super nervous um and j it kind of just like slipped my mind and then towards like halfway into the event i told my best friend i was like damn i should have recorded this but by then it was too late so i just said whatever i'm just not gonna post but i am here so this video is probably going to be separated into a part one and a part two because i really don't want to make this video too long this is going to be a story time on the time my ex almost pretty much tried to run me off the road i'm gonna just put it that way because that's kind of like what it felt like this video is not to like bring up any old baggage it's not to like put nobody out there or try to you know throw nobody out there it's not to bring up old trauma nothing like that i honestly just want to bring awareness to the type of toxic relationship that i was in the title of my channel is asia's journey so i want to share with you all stuff that i went through in my past and i feel like that's just only right for me to do now before i met my husband and before you know i got married and everything like that i was in a very toxic relationship some people may know some people may not know but if you didn't know you know now <laughs> i don't even like i don't even know where to start because it's just like so much but i'll start from i guess the cheating portion right so my ex cheated on me i got cheated on by my ex and as soon as he cheated it was like i'm done with you like it was like it's over right so i had broke up with him but we were still talking so after i broke up with him i feel like i feel like i was still i don't know why i continued talking to him but it wasn't i don't feel like it was on that level in my mind in my head it was not on that level it wasn't like i wasn't emotionally there anymore because you know he did what he did and i just wasn't i just wasn't there but i still continue to talk to him and i feel like that was something that i probably should never did like once i cut it loose and said like you know the relationship is over i should have just you know cut all ties but i didn't but um anyways this particular day i had been so my current husband jordan i'm not gonna say my ex's name i'm just call him ex throughout the whole video so my current husband jordan um i started talking to him and i told both of them at the same time you know i told my ex like hey i'm talking to this new guy at the time we were just friends but you like you know when you're in that talking stage and you're just friends but like you know you're starting you're you're starting to talk more and hang out more so it's becoming more i was upfront with it like i wasn't trying to go behind nobody's back i wasn't trying to go behind my ex back i wasn't trying to go behind jordan's back like i let both of them know up front like this is the situation that we're in and you know we can only move forward from the situation so this one day me and jordan we had probably like went to go grab some lunch or something um i can't remember exactly this was years ago y'all so i don't remember exactly what you know where we went but i remember we were coming back on base i think we were laughing at something and he probably had said something funny and like i was laughing i was driving in my car that's another point that I want to make. I was driving in my car and Jordan was in the passenger seat. So we're driving and we are we are coming this way, me and Jordan. And all of a sudden I see my ex coming this way. So as soon as I noticed him, I was just I, I continue like laughing and stuff because like I'm not just gonna like stop laughing like whatever whatever me and Jordan was talking about it was funny so of course I was laughing I had a smile on my face but I just had glanced over and I saw I saw him you know I recognized his car so I saw him and I kind of just like looked away and continued to go about my business 
and I had something told me to like just look in my rear view mirror. So I looked in my rear view mirror, y'all, and I noticed that he kept pressing on his brakes. So I'm like, why does this dude press on his brakes, y'all? So in my head, I'm like, no, he's not about to try to like turn around or nothing like that, y'all. I was wrong. So this man ended up like doing a U-turn somewhere. I don't know where he, I think, I don't know exactly where he pulled the U-turn, but he ended up pulling the U-turn and I realized that he was probably like two or three cars behind us. So at that point in time, I think I had told Jordan like, I think that's my ex, like, <laughs> I think that's my ex that, that had just drove by us and now he's behind us. So even then, I still wasn't thinking nothing of it. I was kind of like getting like nervous, like what is, you know, what is he doing? Like why would he just randomly turn around? Mind you, he was heading off base, like he was heading off base. He, so for him to just do a flip, like a 360, I was like, what are you doing? So we continue, me and Jordan um, continue driving and you know, I'm still looking in my rear view mirror like, what is he doing? And I noticed that he starts to like pass the cars in front of him. Like, like I think it was like two or three cars in front of him and he kept like passing them, like getting over. And mind you, he was doing like illegal stuff. Like, you know when you have the two lines you're not supposed to pass? He was still passing, like it, he, it didn't matter like what if a car was coming nothing he was trying to get behind my car so we kept driving kept driving and next thing you know he ended up behind my car y'all so we just continue continue driving next thing you know he's like pretty much tailgating me like my car's right here and he's like so close to my car so if i press if i was to press on my brakes like too quick he probably would have hit the back of my car that's how close he was driving like behind us so next thing you know i remember i remember there was a cop that had a car pulled over on the right side of us and the car i think the car had just pulled off and the cop was you know still just sitting there and in my head i'm i was thinking like should i just like stop in front of this cop and you know tell this cop like i feel like he's up to no good or like you know i just, I just didn't feel like it was gonna go good so that was my first thought i was gonna stop in front of cops and and see what he did because clearly he was following me at that point right i ended up not stopping and we just continued driving or whatever and while i'm driving like you can tell like he was just so mad in the car because not only was he tailgating us but he was like t going to the side like almost trying to like go around me but at the same time he was so close that it scared me because I didn't want to hit his car either. So I'm over here like swerving like to the right to try to get away from his car. We're just kind of like doing that, doing that back and forth stuff. And I think I'm gonna end the story time here. I hope you all enjoyed part one. Please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. And do not forget to stay tuned for part two. I may even post a part two a little bit sooner than Saturday because I know I've been kind of slacking with the videos. So I might post um, part two before Saturday. Thank you all so much for watching. And once again, stay tuned for part two. Bye.